But yes, you guys, Diego did replace Blake. So <laughs> <laughs> is Diego replacing Blake's then? Oh no. Technically, yeah, he replaced Blakeston. We do need Th- some like drama in the in physical our lives. space. We operate better in a foursome than a threesome. No, not at all. You I guys, don't think that's possible. You guys are trying to start some shit. That's what that is. You guys are trying to start some shit, which I respect. <laughs> He's not a replacement. He just Blakeston left, and Diego was there. Diego is my longtime childhood best friend. He's been in my life since I was a kid. He actually harbored me in his home. Aided and abetted. Uh-huh. Illegally or? <laughs> it was illegally. No, I was actually underage. My dad kicked me out. I was like 15, maybe. My dad kicked me out the house, and Diego and his family were kind enough to take me in. Your dad realized he couldn't beat you up anymore, and he was like, no, nah, I can't have this. It actually did happen. My dad was beating on me, and I said, oh, wait, I'm not going to take this anymore. And then I pinned him up against the counter, and I blacked out from there. <laughs> no, I didn't hit him or anything, but he was like, get the fuck out. And I was like, all right. Gone. And then I walked down the street to Diego's house and was there for what, a few months? Yeah, it was a few months. That was the time. first taste of freedom in my life. That's so tight. <laughs> That's, I bet it was a lot of fun. That yeah, was a lot of fun. Ever since then, your life has gone up and on the, been on the up uh-huh. and up. As soon as I got away from the dad. Since you started doing it for your goddamn self. That's right. I'm not jealous of that friendship. I'm just pissed the fuck off. <laughs> Diego's been around well before Let's Get Moving and the LGM Boys and whatnot. Now, Stop Diego, my question to you is. Why haven't you been here from the beginning in regards to LGM boys? And why, do you de- why did you decide to come and join the team after Blakeson had his leave? What does that mean? <laughs> he saw an opportunity and he took it. The, op- the door was open the whole time. In fact, it was, it was propped open. <laughs> it took him a- it, sometimes it takes some people to, like, there was come, a fucking welcome to walk mat. through the door, you know, to come out the closet. To walk through the door, it sometimes it takes people a while. Did you come out of the closet and come... Join us. I did come out of that closet over there. For a TikTok trend, we did do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was time. I think one of the funnest things someone can do in their life is just do hood rat shit with their friends all the time. Agreed. Agreed, just. So why not send it? Why not just hang out with your friends and make either content or, you know, whatever we're going to be doing? You're a fighter, you're a father, and you're a... Home inspector. Home inspector. And a Chilean. He is Chilean. Yeah. Diego, I'm not going to lie. I thought you were Mexican for most of my life. <laughs> That's most white people. In your opinion, did you replace Blake's then? Not at all. Um, it was just odd timing. Did I ask you to join the LGM boys? I can't remember. I think I said, are you trying to join the squad, right? No, I don't think so. I think you had mentioned uh, to me before that it was more of when an you were cutting thing. my hair, you were like, oh, yeah, you were talking about Blake's and leaving. And then um, I think you made that video. And then people started asking questions. I think we kind of went from there. What it's been more than anything is your willingness to just be here. If you're here, you'll just be in the content. Yeah. How did you guys meet Diego? And do you even like him? Yeah, I fucking like Diego. After I met you, Steven, it was only natural. Shortly later, I met Diego. And Diego quickly became one of my best friends and most trusted confidants. And especially when Diego, at one point, didn't live by us. He lived down. He lived up in Minnesota and then lived down in Arkansas. We went as far as to... Go all the way to Minnesota to drag him back. Yeah, but drag him back and a little bit. We drug him too far because we moved him down to Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> kind of overshot that one. Diego, when you would come back in town, dude, it was literally the. It was yeah. that's some of my best memories when yeah. I when I had my own one bedroom apartment yeah. and Diego would come back in town from Arkansas and stay with me and that shit. I just remember when he would come in, how much I missed him. I was like, fuck yeah. That boy brought the energy too. Yeah, where the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> His boy Diego was always ready to party. I'd be driving seven hours straight to come hang out with the boys i've always known that diego would fit in with us what took so long diego well can we backtrack us again oh yeah fuck yeah baby i did not like chase for the longest time (laughs) (laughs) that's par for the course because he's a fucking hater (laughs) hold on because i had that same experience when i first met chase yeah because you guys are judgmental if you don't like somebody when you first meet them and then you eventually like them that's on you that means you were judgmental well if it's something, is something, I just you say it like that. You certainly came at me wrong whenever I met you That's because you were little me and you needed to be put in your place. <laughs> yeah. I was just, I'm pretty sure you were being mean to Joey and I Joe, didn't like you that. know he had Chase was always too scared to be mean to me because of my mom. So I never got that, that <laughs> end of the stick. No, I did used to be a little asshole that I try to be open. I try to be 
aware of and not be an asshole, but I still am just as forward. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Mm. He really do be. And that, that does rub people the wrong way sometimes. That rubbed me off the wrong way when I first met him. But but it got you off because you're here now. And you're it we've got, been eventually got me off years. because look at us go. He's well, one of my most loyal best friends. I concur. And I got both your guys' backs till the day I die, and Kyle too. Like lower back, or what do you mean? Yeah. Nice. Diego, you have to get your fucking two cents in if you want to be in this group. You have to override the You have to be more assertive. Assertive, more assertive dominant. This is a group full of alpha beta males. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is news to Diego and Desi as well. Blixton might be making a small comeback. He might be making some guest appearances. So What's I, that about? I'm interested. I talked to homie last night, and uh, I pretty much told him that we miss him, and he needs to come back once in a while, and he was, he was feeling like maybe it would be a good idea to come back. That's the short of it, and that he might come back like one or two days a week. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, this video is it was null nice, and Diego. void. It was nice, Diego. No, uh, this is a couple years, Diego. Diego definitely needs to be involved, permanently more involved in whatever aspect or capacity that means, but also Blake's. And that's the thing about the door being propped open, Stephen. You're absolutely right. There's nothing but room for all of us. There's no, there is no, no limit to how much room and how much, you know, content we could can create as a group and the shit we can do as a group and on I'm a sure. real note i uh i think that's something i really appreciate about you guys just in general like always being open to like from all our friends whether in raytown up here or wherever you guys have always been uh, really open-hearted to almost everybody even when they have done you wrong um either willing to help willing to extend you know yeah fuck time you. money whatever it is you guys are always there for everybody that's in my nature because I remember moving a lot when I was a kid and just wanting to be invited to do stuff and accepted. And I had to go through that several times as a kid. So I understand very well how uncomfortable it can be to not be a part of things. And I just want everybody to be welcome into our circle and very inclusive. Very. And you do a good job at that, Stephen, because I also want that in my heart, but I don't think about that shit. It doesn't, it's not like, like if somebody says, oh, can I join? Yeah, fuck yeah, but I don't think about it as much as you do to make sure people feel welcome and shit, and that's a good way to be. Well, I had to learn that the hard way, but I did, nonetheless. Your dad always included you in the family beatings, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> he included me in the free hard labor as a child. He sure did. You recruited us into the hard labor for discounted rates. I selfishly <laughs> recruited you guys because you guys made work It was so bearable. fun. Not only bearable, but fun. Dude, so fun. But yes, you guys... Diego did replace Blakeston until Blakeston comes back. <laughs> <laughs> until Blakeston comes back. Which, Blakeston stay tuned back. for more Blakeston content. All right, Diego, what, if you had anything, any message to say to Blakeston, what would it be? Bring that ass here, boy. Now we're talking. Oh, you want to bring him back? Yeah. How noble of you. Uh, we do want a little bit of feedback from you guys. What do you think of our background? I know it's really cute. Chase did it himself. Uh, let's get some feedback on that. Steven didn't trust me to put it together, but I knew the but ensemble. But it turned out real cute. But I knew the ensemble would work. Will it change, though? It might evolve over time. <laughs> I'm not making any promises. But yes, it's cute, Chase. Good it's job. It's good enough for now. He's saying cute because he means it's cute and wants it different. Well, hold on. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be a good one. All right. Love you guys. Love. Love. Bye. Good video. Peace. It's still going. Somebody stop it. It's... Stop.